Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week overview. During this week, we're going to start talking about Lesson 7.1, Population Growth and Resource Consumption, pages 338 to page 345. Firstly, we're going to talk about human population. The human population is the sum of the total of all the individuals or people who live in a particular place such as a town, city, or a country. It includes everyone from babies to adults and represents the overall number of inhabitants in that specific area. Understanding human population helps us to study how communities grow, change, and impact the environment around them. Then, we have another concept, which is population change. Population change is about how the number of people in a place can go up or down over time. This happens because of things like babies being born, people passing away, and others moving in or out. Imagine a town where more babies are born and more people move in than leave. This means that the population is growing gradually. On the other hand, if fewer babies are born and more people leave than move in, the population might decrease. Understanding population change helps us see how communities evolve and why it's important to plan for the needs of everyone living in a place. Moving to the other concept, which is population growth rate. Population growth is how the total number of people in a certain area increases over a period. It occurs when more babies are born than people passing away. Then we have using natural resources, which is human activity. Using natural resources involves people utilizing materials from the earth, like water, soil, minerals, and plants for various purposes. Human activities such as farming, logging, and mining are examples of using natural resources. While these activities provide us with essential materials for food, energy, and construction, it is crucial to be mindful of how we use resources. Responsible practices such as recycling and sustainable farming help ensure that we meet our needs without harming the environment. Understanding how human activities affect natural resources help us make choices that balance our needs with the health of the planet. Moving to the Using natural resources, which is impact on Earth system. Using natural resources can impact the Earth system in important ways. For example, when we cut down a lot of trees for wood or burn fossil fuels like coal and oil for energy, it can affect the air we breathe and the climate. These activities release things like carbon dioxide into the air, which can make the Earth warmer. Also, when we use a lot of water and create waste without recycling, it can harm rivers and oceans, so it is important to be careful with how we use natural resources, like using less energy and recycling more, to keep the Earth's systems healthy for everyone and everything that lives here. Lastly, we're going to talk about balancing needs. Using natural resources involves finding a balance between our needs and taking care of the Earth. We use resources like water, soil, and energy for things like food, home, and electricity. To balance our needs, it is important to use resources wisely and not waste them. For example, instead of cutting down too many trees, we can plant new ones. And that's exactly what we did once we talked about National Planting Day. We can also use renewable resources and energy like the sun and wind that won't run out. By being careful with how we use natural resources, we make sure there is enough for us now and for the future. It's like finding a good balance so that we can have what we need without harming the earth. And this week, we're going to have a lab session and we're going to have lesson check. <laughs>